Alright, we're checking out the only game where the only way to progress is to crash your car and give yourself traumatic whiplash. It's GTA. We wanted to find out which GTA vehicle could ram its way through the most ridiculous obstacles, and so Alex has created a brand new board. He's given me all these vehicles to choose from with the rule that once it blows up, you can't use the vehicle anymore. We have to go through all the sections, ramming through bigger and bigger obstacles until eventually we can make it to the end. Let's do this. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I would start with something that looked like it could just win the board right off the bat. Standing humans persistently? What does that mean? How much does the human body weigh? These are all bodybuilders. What sort of poltergeist stuff have you done to these people, Alex? I love how they just, it's like Professor X is keeping them in one spot. So it's, oh, they're really heavy. Oh, wow. It's actually holding the vehicle back. Like three bodybuilders are holding back this truck. So Alex has created ramming challenges that are going to be ridiculous. What is happening with the guy flown to the air? Oh, it's Paranormal Activity 5, everyone. All right, obviously I need to take this way more seriously. Are you ready to face the hammer? Oh, they're caught in the wheel well. Now you're gonna notice, everyone, that uh, they're invincible, they're fine. They are not injured even slightly by being run over with my gigantic tread tires. Um, they are just, they're, they're full of raspberry filling, much like a donut or, a do, you know, like a, like a, it's like a Boston cream donut, except it's a lot more blood looking. <laughs> okay, that took a lot more effort than I thought it would take. I'm not gonna lie. All right, what else you got for me? Oh, these are, these are humans, but they're running at me. Running humans recklessly, okay? <laughs> you can't stop me, humans. Throwing a vicious right cross over here. See, I don't even know that. Okay. All right, so when they're moving, it's much easier to get through them. I will say that. So now we have yeeting humans carelessly. Yeeting. Oh, no. God. Well, I didn't do much damage to it, so I think it'll be fine. Out of the way, running humans. I need to get over to your uh, your yeeting friends over here. What, how do you even get past this? Is that like a teleporter on top of a bunch of... Wow! Okay, the yeeting humans are no joke. The fact that this car is struggling this much is really starting to concern me. All right, so... Oh, man. It's like, it's like putting a bunch of people inside of a hurricane. How fast are these humans yeeting at the car? Look at it, it pushes the car a good six feet back. All right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and back up into the portal. There we go, okay. So I knew it was a portal, you had to get to it somehow, so it makes sense. What's happening is the fist on the front is keeping the car from getting all the way to the portal. I might be able to get it with like a really big jump because he's giving me hydraulics, but I can't. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it reverse. Stop it! Stop! Stop! I never thought that the most powerful cannon in the history of warfare would be the yeet cannon. Live traffic ramming. Okay. I feel like this vehicle has already done really well. So we should be... What? Okay. Oh, you you set up the roadway for this. Is this multiple choice or can I pick, you know, wh whatever one? I'm just, I'm gonna... Wow, I... <laughs> that's just Gray making a decision right at the last second. We're gonna pick this one. All right, so far so good. Ugh! That's fine. The fist is going to absorb a lot of the damage. So I don't have to worry about blowing this thing up too easy, I don't think. Couple of cars, no problem. Just trying to drive around that. Oh, there are, whoa, he put, oh, okay. He put boosts here too. I love how he's got just random ramps laying around to make the traffic even worse for me. Sorry, motorcyclist. Oh, the motorcyclist has blades. Do not cut my tires. I think he, I'm not sure, I think he did. I think he cut like my front left tire. All right, well, the, the, the truck still works. It's a little more derpy now, but it's it. I can make it. It's fine. All right, through the rest of the traffic, I'm bringing you with me. You and I have to complete this board together. You're gonna know what I go through on a on a daily basis. <laughs> He's bringing up. I'm gonna bring this guy all the way up to the front. Container ramming. Oh, bye. Container ramming weight in pounds, 400. All right, how good does this thing ram through a 400 pound container? And okay, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Yeah, just keep them stacking. I don't care. Like I said, as long as I have this fist. See, I'm fist bumping the container. The container and I are friends. Okay, so now 600 pounds. I could probably cheat this little, oh wow. 
Probably because they were on their side. That one really flew. 800 pounds. Uh, now I'm starting to feel the weight. Home run! The fact that there's two of them and it's like 1,600 pounds, this is, this is kind of stopping me in my tracks a little bit. Oh no! All right, here's what we're gonna do. Since the Love Fist is missing a tire and I do wanna try some of the other vehicles, I figure we'll pick a much smaller one with the blades on the front. Maybe the extra speed will allow it to just shoot right through all the problems. Psycho. Oh, it's got a blade in the back too. That's awesome. All right, human ramming, except now I'm driving basically a mobile food processor. Oh yeah, it takes out their knees. That makes that a lot easier. All right, now the running humans. Again, I can just take them out at the knees. Not too bad. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so now the yeeting humans. Whoa, oh, they go over the car. Oh, this is a great idea. I don't even have to worry about the eating humans. Ooh, wow. If they do hit, it does cause a big, like a lot of weight to hit the car though. Out of the way. Okay, so the, what happened? No! <laughs> okay, all right, that was, a little, that was a little concerning, but we're all right. So the wheels on this have a little protective grill on the back ones, I, wow. That is fantastic. So I kind of, oh, oh. Oh no, oh God. Oh, this is so much different than the love fist. Oh, something is on fire and I'm right next to it. Do not blow up on top of me. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. Out of the way. <gasps> oh! I'm pretty sure that man hit that wall right here to my left and went exploding through his front windshield. That is incredible. And the Julian slicer on the front of this thing is no, is, is great. Look at this, what, ah, what I was trying to say is look, even with no speed, it just shoots everything away from you. Bam, move it cop. <laughs> I love how the slower you go. The, am I getting carjacked in the middle of a GTA challenge? <laughs> Oh, I didn't think about this. There's like gang warfare going on while I'm trying to complete the challenge and my car is taking damage because of it. Stop. Okay, off of the ramp. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> I almost lost the top part of my skull. Oh, wow, this thing gets tight like crazy. Man, this thing, the, just the air it can get is incredible. So the fact that it doesn't have a lot of weight is gonna be a problem. Cause even the 400 pound crate is almost stopping it in its tracks. I can kind of squeeze through here, get a little speed. There we go, okay. Can I just go under this? Do I even have to deal with this? Like can't, I mean, I could just cheat it, but I'm gonna try, okay. So pushing it's easy because it's on its side. And can I go under the 800? I can. Perfect. Now I just have to get through the wall of containers. Are you ready? Whoa! Well, that was unfortunate. You know what? I feel like there's something even better than this. All right, I have a new plan. I think that the winner is gonna be the ramp buggy and here's why. It can ramp under the containers. It can ramp under all of the oncoming traffic. This thing is unstoppable. Watch this, boom. Oh, all right, well, <laughs> I thought it would ramp over bodybuilders a lot easier. Out of the way, you walking skin-colored protein shakes. All right, through running people. That does pretty good. It's like every adventurer in Skyrim taking ramp cars to the knees. Oh, <laughs> I do have to walk, oh, oh, oh it's, the, it's the actual, oh my God. I need to fix this. Okay, it's the actual propulsion from the jets that is knocking this thing back. I'm gonna have to do this one backwards too. Ri oh, I just saved my life. I found one of the best ways to do this is to ramp people and get air. Or if you hit this hard, and oh, that worked out really good, okay. All right, live traffic ramming. This thing isn't, this thing's not even gonna get slowed down, straight up. I don't know what other kind of challenges you have, Alex, but live, Traffic ramp, watch this, a full bus. All right, well the bus didn't want any of it. Look at that, nothing, bam. People flying through the air. <laughs> I, I might actually run into something, but I kind of want this view so you guys can see just how, yeah, look at, <laughs> look at how, oh, ouch. <laughs> Don't you do it, bus. Well, even the bus driver's here in a Michael Bay film. Anyway. <laughs> It is! Ugh. So you're probably wondering like, can you just ramp underneath all the containers? Yeah, watch. 
and even containers like these, you can still get under it just slightly and then ramp it. Look at that. Look at how high they went. Mid-air ramming. Mid-air ramming. Cow. Oh, you're doing jumps and then you're going through stuff as you come down. Sweet. Okay, so first thing is taco trucks. I love how half of my car has a different color paint. I know, I know. It's basically human flavored hot sauce, but still. Uh, oh, I didn't, even I didn't even touch them. Well, that was easy. Okay, so now you have to jump and then what is this? Are they buses? <laughs> it's just a giant stack of buses. Oh, they're two rows deep. Here we go. What the? What just happened? <laughs> Did I ramp underneath it? What, what even happened? It did really good though. That's amazing. I I literally have no clue. I thought it would run straight into these things, but it looked like it ramped them. So now it's an actual helicopter. I have to air crash through a, a helicopter. All right, helicopter. You can't stop the ramp car. Oh. Well, it stopped the ramp car. Like it stopped the ramp car dead. I didn't even move the helicopter. Something about this car makes me believe that this is the chosen one. Because if you notice, there's like a ram skull on the front. Well, it's not really a ram skull. It's a human skull with ram horns. But it's a ram skull. This is a ramming board. Should do just fine. A lot of knees were harmed in the making of this episode. No joke. Okay, so far this thing is doing pretty good. It has absolutely no traction, which isn't great. But for the most part, it does ramp through vehicles because it's got little forks on the front. You can see them. So it kind of lifts vehicles up. Yeah, like right there. Watch this. Boom. I'm taking your bumper with me like a souvenir. Man, it too has a lot of problems getting through the crates though. And it's not, okay, hold on. Let me get enough speed here. <clears throat> and it's not small enough to go under the crates. So I need raw power from this thing. Okay, 800 pound crate, it can get through it. Double stacked 800 pound crates though. I don't know if I can make it through that. Oh, it can go under it. Okay, lucky. Now the giant wall of crates. I'm gonna aim kind of right in the middle here. This way I can move, I can kind of use this thing like a spear. In case you're wondering, I've been smashing through these crates for a while. And it is possible, but man, it takes some effort. All right, mid-air ramming, taco trucks, number one. Over the top. <laughs> Didn't even touch him. Okay, Greyhound buses. Ugh. I mean, I made it. Just barely. Can I cheat around this? Can I get can I get around all these? Yeah, I can just barely squeeze this car around the side of the <laughs> of the buses. My arch enemy, the helicopter. I'm gonna aim for the opening. Thumbnail hole! <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna need a bigger car. Now this is a big car. Oh, real quick, remember to drink more water, kids. Drink more highly pressurized, stomach exploding water. Anyway, here we, oh, the top speed isn't great. Go! Oh, 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 there's a lot of people catching on the front of the, on the front of the windshield here, it's like a bunch of mosquitoes. <laughs> Through the yeety humans. Boom. Through the traffic. Actually, I don't know how good this thing is against traffic. Ah, it's all right. It's got a lot of weight behind it, so it does okay. So it loses a little bit of weight against traffic, but it's still okay. Now it's just pure weight. And pure weight, no problem. Out of the way, gigantic wall of crates. Bring the walls down. Mid air rim ramming. Ooh. Okay, it did not. Oh no, this thing is only rear wheel drive. No. Uh, I don't know how I can fix this. I can kind of wriggle it. Oh, oh, oh. Out of the way, talk. No. <laughs> you know what? This thing wasn't as strong as I thought. It's pink. It's got pink rims. This is the one that's gonna make it. Through the people, no problem. Through the Yeety people. Kind of a problem just because I have, I gotta pop it right at the edge there and use the hydraulics because it's got a big snow plow on the front. I'm not here plowing snow. I'm plowing people. That sounds terrible. I'm, you know, as if though they were, uh, as if though they were debris, see? Like I'm keeping, I'm keeping the streets safe. Look at all these people going to work, <laughs> taking their kids to school. Not on my watch. Oh, whoa. 
I landed on the hood. That was amazing. I can't believe I did that. All right, it's doing pretty good through the crates. Not bad at all. 600 pound one's really easy just because of how it's sitting there. 800 pound one, not too bad as well. Will it have to go through or over the taco trucks? Over the taco trucks. And now through the buses. Okay. It had more weight, so it did blow its way through the buses. That's quite nice. I also broke my skull in six different places. Don't ask what I had to go through to get this thing back on the road. Also, I just realized at some point, one of the clowns with the saws on their motorcycles must have popped my front right tire. Yeah, just don't ask, all right? Okay, can anything make it through the helicopter? Here we... Oh, I don't, I'm losing some speed, go! Yeah! No! No, it exploded! <laughs> Ouch. Oh, it almost crushed my body and it's on fire. How am I supposed to make it through the helicopter without blowing up? Not gonna lie, Alex, I'm starting to run out of options, man. There's two left. I'm picking the one with all the meat. Like, not like, you know, not like roast beef. I mean, like, you know, weight to the truck. Through the people, through the traffic. Yay, yeah, Sticks the landing. Through the containers. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, this has power. Oh, this thing's amazing. Oh, yeah. Look at the weight. Look at it. It just smashes through every single crate. I just, I'm just keeping the crates coming with me. Mid-air ramming is about to get legit. Mid-air ramming. Taco trucks. Boom. Mid-air ramming. Greyhound buses. Take my money. Bam. Ow. Ah. <laughs> well, uh, I just had the opportunity to have the grill of this thing go into my mouth, and now I'm going to be vomiting blood for the next 10 years. All right, helicopter. I've had enough of you. Ready and go. Yes! Finally. Yet yeah. what is this? It's a waterfall of car. It's a double waterfall. Okay, so I think I have to land down there. I just have to make it through the waterfall of cars with absolutely no survival instinct. Now, unfortunately, my truck is smoking. I don't know how much damage this thing took, but it ain't looking good. Here. Oh, we're gonna go right into it. We're gonna go right into it. Yes! Sticks the landing! Yeah! <laughs> I am eating a lot of probably carcinogenic smoke right now. What else you got for me, Alex? What is this? What is this? Oh! <laughs> oh my God, I had to land on my head. Luckily these, you know, the two inches of water here broke my fall. Okay, so now I have to ram through this gigantic vehicle. It's not that hard though, yeah. Moist ramming. Hey, hey, no loitering. Ooh. Oh, did he just, I'm sure he's just passed out. He's not dead, he's fine, he's fine. So real quick in the distance, I can see, you know, we have these normal boats here. All right, pretty good. Then we have, oh, it's the, it's like the, the personal submarine, okay. I love how this boat ran out of the way, like it didn't want any of this. Oh, there's a tiny entire like, like commercial fishing boat. Oh no! This thing, I didn't think about it. This thing actually bottoms out enough to destroy the engine? Are you serious? The engine flooded. I think this could have made it. That means there's only one choice left. It has finally come to this. Through the people. Didn't even lose any speed. Through the running people. Again, didn't lose any speed. Through the yeeting people. Wow, I almost went flying off the course. <laughs> I'm not afraid of traffic. Traffic's afraid of me. Ugh. Yeah, through the containers. Like it's nothing. <laughs> Even though I can't squeeze under them, it doesn't matter because this thing is just so powerful compared to everything else I've used. This is why you always paint your cars pink. Anyway. Against the taco trucks. I want to hit them too. Yeah, I'm not jumping over them this time. I want to go right through them. Against the buses. Urgh. Now, you and I, helicopter. Go. 
Yeah! Through the waterfall of cars now. If the other bus made it through the waterfall of cars, this one should do fine, I guess. I've been trying to line this up, like time this, because I want to make sure I get us hitting the cars for you guys. Yeah! <laughs> it goes through the cars so easy. Big 360. Out of the way. <laughs> Don't you de Oh, I landed right on the cage over here. That was amazing. I can't believe I didn't go flying into the water. Don't you flood on me. Now, the engine on this one looks like it's higher. As you can see, I'm completely missing my hood. So we, can, we get a good look at it. Okay. Are you ready to destroy the hopes and dreams of all the millionaires who own these boats? The speed boats, no problem. The personal submarine, no problem. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a sailboat, no problem. Ah, oh, no. Luckily I can swim back to the vehicle. All right, there's one obstacle left. I can see victory. I can taste it and it tastes like salt water. Bam! Yes, and we have a winner! Well, I rammed cars and my soul was rammed out of my body. Hey, folks, hope you just episode of GTA. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.